What is going on you guys? My name is Rage and we are back today with a character review video for you all. In today's video, we're going to be talking about 5 of the best characters in my opinion in the game right now that are farmable. So keep in mind, um, because of the word farmable, I am actually excluding any characters that are included in the premium orbs here specifically such as Yo-Yo, Co-Obsidian, as well as the milestone orbs here. Uh, last but not least, I'm also going to exclude legendary characters just due to the fact that, you know, they are available given the event, but really for farmability, I'm looking for characters that are either A, uh, available through the campaign node unlocks, or as well as the supply store that you see here, uh, given the availability of the credits. So with that being said, we can dive right into the characters and also keep in mind, uh, this is by no means ranked from most important to least important. Uh, these are five characters I believe that add amazing value to your game um, but they all provide a different kind of aspect of value uh, in different game modes so with that being said let's dive right in first and foremost starting with thanos here thanos is known as the core of the black order team um, also one of the top metas in the game right now especially in top arena um, but it goes beyond that the black order team is usable in all game modes in the game but most notably, Thanos was originally uh, really popular in the beginning when his Black Order team wasn't here. Um, he was part of that original BK team, uh, really providing energy uh, as his main usage. His ultimate, whenever his, uh, there's an enemy that actually falls, he actually has the opportunity to provide energy to adjacent characters next to Thanos. So having that ability is actually really unique in the game. And in the beginning, he provided a lot of limits in energy, especially to those cosmic characters. So... Uh, with that being said, that's really what where uh, Thanos does provide value outside of his Black Order team. Um, but beyond that, you know, with his Black Order team, um, he can be utilized in all game modes, um, even in Dark Dimension if you have the capability to bring up the full Black Order. Last but not least, um, I definitely am using uh, Thanos actually right now in Dark Dimension 3, and I cannot say enough good things due to the fact of his synergy with Ebony Ma giving him energy. And as well, he is also very tanky and has the ability to apply offense down and gain taunt to kind of shoulder weight damage. So definitely recommend Thanos if you guys have the opportunity to farm him. Best part is he is actually available in Nexus 8-9. So that is at the very end of the Nexus, but very, very attainable, especially for a free-to-play player. Next, we have Hela here. Um, Hela, one of the top five teams in the game, is part of that as Guardians roster. Uh, with unlocking Hela, you know you get access to actually two potential legendary unlocks. So that's really where Hela is going to provide value. She can unlock Black Boat as part of the five Yellow Star unlock. Um, the event's ongoing right now, so I hope you guys are able to capitalize. Or she can also become a part of that six Yellow Star requirement for Phoenix, another top legendary in the game. Um, now, what's really amazing about Hela is the fact that she has good disruption in terms of shutting down a character. But what she's most known for is her ultimate ability in terms of being able to clear the death-proof five enemies, but as well also being the ability to actually spread negative conditions from a primary target to all these secondary targets. Um, this doesn't include stun, but just the ability to actually have bleed, blind, um, being spread across all different enemies. You're going to see that she adds significant value in all game modes because of that ability. Um, as well, very dark dimension friendly because of the fact that she adds that amazing value for spreading those negative conditions, really creating an unfair uh, battle advantage for us, which is advantageous for us in the battle. And last but not least, how can we talk about Hela while bringing up her passive here in terms of actually summoning Greg? Um, Greg is amazing because it's a it's essentially an undead as Guardian that actually joins battle, and every time he falls, he comes back alive. So. He's just amazing for shouldering damage, really providing support for the team when he can take away that damage. And I cannot say enough good things about Hela, but um, ultimately, um, similar to Thanos, very attainable as well in the Villain 7-6. I did make videos on how to unlock her with a lower team, so please feel free to check out if you guys get a chance. But really, Hela is an am another amazing character to provide value, especially for farming. Next, we have to talk about Mr. Sinister here, attainable actually in the War Store. And um, really, with Mr. Sinister, he's one of those few characters in the game right now that actually is future-proof because of his unique ability to actually be able to clone. Um, I've utilized this ability over and over, uh, especially in Dark Dimension, when you can create an a, a massive army just to be able to battle against the foes. But really, his synergy also comes from the sense that he's actually part of that top uh, Emma Rodders team in War Alliance War. So with that being said, Mr. Sinister, um, part of a very, very potent team in the meta right now, has the unique ability to actually clone, uh, provides amazing value to his fellow mutants, especially in terms of supporting, healing them up, clearing heal block, as well as offense up. Um, 
I, I cannot say enough good things. Unfortunately, he is available in the coveted war store, which has a lot of amazing characters. But um, definitely, Mr. Sinister is definitely a character I would recommend for farming if you guys get a chance to, especially when I've utilized him in both Dark Dimension 2 and Dark Dimension 3. And I've already seen many content creators talk about his viability and how he is the MVP of Dark Dimension 4 as well. Next, we are going to talk about Minerva. If Mr. Sinister is seen as the king of Dark Dimension, uh, most notably, Minerva is known as the queen of Dark Dimension. Not enough good things can be said about her, but let's talk about the obvious thing. Um, Minerva has one of the unique abilities, using her special ability to actually revive a fallen ally. And on top of that, even when they fall, she, they're going to be brought back and as well given two death proofs. So already she's ensuring their survivability by bringing them back that unique ability but last but not least her ultimate um one of the best ultimates in the game in the sense that she can actually steal away the 15 percent scaling health damage and apply that to the to our allies as healing and it bypasses heal block as well uh, I cannot say enough good things about that because you can see here with Minerva you can get so much value from Minerva even without t 4 any of her abilities uh, she is utilized in all game modes, but most notably I've been using her in Dark Dimension But I just love the characters that can be slotted into all these different teams providing amazing value Best part is, is she was actually uh, a, a couple months ago recently being added to the war store Now she is actually farmable officially So you guys can check her out in the war store along with Mr. Sinister Both very very powerful characters that add absolutely amazing value Especially if you're farming them and preparing them for the end game um, and um, thanks to her unique ability to revive, you bet there's going to be a safe slot for her in the future, especially in this growing game. Last but not least, uh, unexpected addition to here. Uh, you know, I cannot say enough good things about Thor. I haven't built him up the way I wanted to, but I got to bring him up because of the fact that he actually adds immense, immense value for not only the early game, mid game but as well as the late game um first let's talk about the obvious similar to hella thor is actually part of that a legendary unlock for a black bolt right now um you know get, getting him to the five yellow uh, synergizing with the guardians will allow you to lock an unbelievable legendary but in addition to that with the recent rework of his uh of his kit he now actually synergizes with two different teams you can actually slot him in with both the asgardians team or the wave one avengers and if you guys have checked out my doom chapter videos uh all across doom chapter one two and three as well as heroes chapter seven i've utilized thor as part of that team now because of the rework he adds amazing value not only to his asgardians but as, as well as the avengers wave one um, and most notably his abilities um, his special does do a decent amount of damage but really he's also another character in the game that has that ability to actually stun and as well as that 40% chance as well to actually apply a stun to additional targets um, I cannot say enough good things about Thor I would recommend him because he provides amazing 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 synergy to two different teams health unlocks and legendary gets you quite far in the campaign nodes and in my opinion, the Asgardians team is still on the top five teams in the game right now, despite the changing meta. Last but not least, Thor is actually farmable in two different areas. He's farmable in Hero 7-3. I've made a video on that as well if you guys want to check out with a minimum power team. And as well, you can also grab him in the Supply Raid Store. Um, those are my five characters right now. Again, uh, not ranked in any particular order, but um, as a mid, early, late game player, I do believe these are the five characters you guys should keep be keeping an eye on for just because of the fact that they are farmable. They're one of the best in the game. I used them early. I've used them mid, and you bet now I am using them in even in the late game. So hope this video was able to provide some insight for you guys, especially starting out and you're figuring out who to farm and who to kind of plan for. Hope this was able to give you guys some knowledge and helpful in your uh, farming journey. As always, you guys, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.